I still think McNabb is... Wait, now, now wait a minute. This, the only reason why I picked the Vikings to put in topic of discussion today is because of McNabb. I think McNabb has... Sucks. I, 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 think he's, I think he's over the hill. I think he's reached his point... And I, I think if know. he stays, wait, 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 I think wait, 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 wait. He's like thirty what? Thirty six? I'm, I'm talking. Yeah, over the hill. That's over the hill for football. Thirty five. Really? That's forty two. That thirty four. Kurt Warner was thirty four. Hey, right? Kurt Warner was forty one. Favre was forty. I mean, come on. Yeah, like, but come on. Look at Favre. Look what he did the past two years. I mean, the past two years he went to the last championship game and then he had a bad game because the team sucked. The whole team sucks. When he was on the Jets, when he was on the Vikings, I'm not talking about his past two years at the Green Bay. The Vikings. He was in the NFC Championship game against the Saints. But he still stunk. I don't oh give a crap. Oh my god, he had the best no. year of his career. Best year of his career. After he 40, retired. After 40, he retired though. when he sucked. After 40, right he now, had the best year of his career. Right. Yes or no? But I'm not talking about age. I'm talking about where you are in your career as oh, a quarterback. No, I agree. Mick Nab is fat, at a point fat, where he he's is... He's out of shape. Exactly. So he's more over the hill. Than right, even though he's, he's younger right. than Favre, he okay. is, he's over you. the hill. I got you. I agree. I agree. He's fat. He sucks. He is, he, he, it's, he, it's beyond, I don't think he can come back. Like Favre, he went out, he came back, and he played well. I don't think he can do that. I, I don't think McNabb can do that. I agree. I think Mike is a little immature, and with his finger puppets that he's making next to me when he thinks I'm not looking at him, but... But I agree with you. I, I'm glad you agree with me, because, I mean, obviously we are the smarter of the two on this I show, agree. so... Okay, yeah, I mean, you're the smartest of the two. You don't know anything about baseball, so don't, don't even try. We're not on baseball right now, are we? Well, we should be. Well, we're not. Well, we should be. Well, we're no, going let's, to be. Let's, maybe we should be. Hurry up. We don't want to go men. to. We don't want to talk about old men. We don't want to talk about the one and one Philly. Here we go. We're going to go into baseball. Let's go into baseball right now. Let me go into baseball. The Phillies are one and one. They, Dude, they had the lead. They lost it. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I wish I could... Wait. Tony La Russa. Let me tell you something. Yeah, nice wig, Tony La Russa. I hate Tony La Russa. Nice wig. Does that come with your hat? His daughter's hat, though. I don't care about his dog. She's, listen to me. She's, she is actually pretty hot. Right I don't, right, I don't listen, pay attention listen. to uh, baseball, but I pay attention all right, to baseball. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Uh, <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the deal. <laughs> How does someone so ugly make something so pretty? I know. Tony Russo with his wig and hat. That's weird. Uh, here we go. This is, and this is true, too, by the way. The, the, I wish... The Phillies are going to lose this I could, No, I really wish I could I could be in the Brewers' spot and be playing the worst team in the playoffs right now. The yeah. Arizona Diamondbacks. They didn't have the worst record. I really wish I could be. I really do. Because, wait, I, wait, 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 because the up. Cardinals are on a hunt right now. Hold on. Hold on. Time up. Here we time go. Up, yeah, see if we can, no, I'm going to interrupt you. Because it's, you it's, told me oh God, here we two go. weeks ago What'd that the you? Brewers played in the worst division in the league and I, that you guys were in the best division. What does that have to do with playing the Diamondbacks? Because you're playing the Cardinals. Okay. Who supposedly we were in the worst division, okay. which means the Cardinals aren't that good, but yet you lost to them. Okay, so the Cardinals are good. How are the Cubs? How are the Pirates? How are the whatever other junk? Team I think is as there? equivalent to the Marlins, the Marlins are horrible. Marlins are better than the Cubs. Uh, dude, the Cubs on paper, the Cubs should have been really good this year. Well, well, on paper, on paper, the Cowboys should have been in the Super Bowl last year. Well, how'd that work out? They went six and ten. It doesn't dude, matter what's on paper. In, right. in, at midseason, you were saying the Pirates were going to fucking make the playoffs. <laughs> That's true. Well, you did. Well, so I mean, you know what? I, I just don't think you should talk about baseball unless you can really oh, admit, okay. unless you can finally admit that you know, the Brewers are actually a pretty good team. I, I, they're Speaking a of the Brewers, team. they're two and zero series. Team. They're a decent team. Decent. They're a decent team. Okay. You can't even say the word good. So all right, where? The, uh, okay, you're a Brewers yeah. fan. You're a Phillies fan. Where right. do you see the Phillies going? I see us going. Uh, I think everyone's worried right now because we lost that fluke game last night. Let me just say this: I think we uh, win the next two, and I think we go to play the Brewers. You're a Brewers fan. Where do you think the Brewers go? I mean, I'm talking about the whole playoffs. Oh, you're talking about the everything. whole playoffs? World Series and everything. Oh, all right. Well, then I think we uh, we beat the Brewers in five. And we go to the World Series. <laughs> go ahead. What do you I think? I don't agree. I, I actually think the Phillies will still go to the World Series. Um, I think they have better pitching. I have it go on seven games, though. Hmm. But, but, why, why but, don't you agree with? But I do because believe, I, I, I think if any team's got a shot to beat the Phillies, yeah. it's going to be the Brewers. Has I, don't think, I don't think the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks have a chance, and I... I'm a little nervous about the oh, Cardinals, like I was the whole time, um, because Kyle Loesch is really good. I, I forgot about that. I'm just saying, you guys are one on one. Next topic. So next topic. Okay. Detroit yeah. Yankees. Rays. Detroit Yankees. Detroit. Detroit. Detroit, and Detroit the Yankees. Yankees. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. There's a comment there. Rays. Rangers. Rays. Rangers. Two different teams. I get it. Both so series. Both so series are tied. Time. Both series are tied. Okay. Uh, Yankees Where do you see win. them going? I see the Yankees winning that that other that game, and then I see the Rays coming back. I know they're they're down now in a hole two and two one. Uh, I think the Rays come back and they win their their uh, little series. By the way, both the both the Rays and the 
Rays and Rangers and Yankees and Tigers are both playing right now. Both playing right now, although the well, the Rangers did just win. So we're, so we're taking this now on Monday, so yeah. Okay, fine. So, okay. But so here's the deal. So I think <laughs> here's the deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> I think that um, I think that the obviously the Yankees have a better team. So and I I really do believe that the Detroit Tigers got completely In over screwed. The with and the then with the rain out, with the rain out. I agree. So yeah. So I think that this game, this series, is, is the Yankees are going to win it, um, and I think that the rain out obviously helps the Yankees. Okay, I agree. Last topic of the night: Packers. Let me let me say this. Okay, I'm best, not going to best team in the league. No, not the best team in the league. They have the best quarterback in the league. Let me let me just say this. Let me say this, and, and I, I mean this too. The, don't. Don't, you know... I'm letting you say you talk. I'm letting, okay. you, I'm letting you bash one of okay. my teams again it's, for no it's reason. It's not bashing yeah. your team, actually, if you yeah. listen to what I say. Well, earlier you were. Well, how about you listen to what I say for... Okay, how about you listen to what I say for... Thanks. Keep um, going. Aaron Rodgers go. is the only... Shut up. Aaron Rodgers is the only quarterback in this league that has been consistently a great quarterback week in and week out. Every single... And I mean this. Every other single quarterback that you thought was great, good, mediocre, whatever... They've all had the next week, games. they slide. Tom Brady, good, and then slide. Michael Vick, good, and then slide. Michael Vick. Uh, uh, Drew Brees, good, and then slide. There is no consistent quarterback except for Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has been the only consistent quarterback. So with quarterback, I will say you have the best quarterback in the league. And quarterback is the big part of the team. So, right. yes, you may have the best team, but there are other teams out there, and you play the Broncos, so calm down. Okay, well, you didn't answer my question then. What? Who's the best team in the league? Yeah. I'm like a politician, you know? Yeah, like, i got to do what i got to do. Who's, who's the best team? The best team, I think the Packers are one of the best teams. No, I'm who asking you what, team? who the best Make, team in the NFL right now is. Pick a team for once. I can't go against Tom Brady. So you think the Patriots are the best team in the league? That's your pick? I think... Is that your pick? Is that your pick? Is that your pick? Is that your pick? Go on to you. He's taking too long. Okay. Your opinion. I think, I think by far the Packers are the best Not team. Not by league. far. No, I think by far the I Packers are the best I team. I agree. League. I have to agree with that. They have the best, best quarterback, and the, he's the actually They are the most team sound dynamic. team as a whole. They're completely They dynamic. play together perfectly. However, however, I'm still sticking to my guns, even though someone else in the room can't even uh, stick to their guns. I'm not and I'm scary. saying that it's still, still. Going to be a Patriots, Packers Super Bowl. So I oh, guess I'm God. picking the Patriots to be the second best team in the league. Whereas you pick the Steelers, Eagles. <laughs> it's, hey, uh, it's week four, people. All right, calm down. Yeah, every game in the NFL matters. <laughs> what, 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 are you say, what is he going to say? Like week twelve? It's only, it's only, week, yeah, 12. It's only week twelve. It's only week it's twelve. Only week 16, it's only week sixteen. All right. Well, now we're going to go prime time. With the paste, so let's go prime time. That is me, prime time with the paste. You know what? It's Monday, you know, the, the Buccaneers and the Buccaneers and the Colts. They might do something cool. I doubt it. So, I'm gonna go with your top five plays right here. I'm gonna start out with number five, which isn't even football. Ryan Howard diving out there to get that catch ball right up in the holiday, holiday, whatever. I like that. I, I saw it. I was actually watching the game because I like seeing the Phillies lose. And I was, I, I liked the play. I thought it was Where pretty cool. Uh, okay, great. Am I a baseball fan? I didn't think so. You like the Dodgers? Number four. This play, you won't even see this play on Sports Center right now. I put this play in there because I myself personally like this play. Ladarius Webb, 73 yard interception for a touchdown from Mark Sanchez. That was pretty. It was very, very pretty. Mark Sanchez. I, well, he yes, is this is true. Good. I agree. <laughs> All right, number three, ladies and gentlemen, is Heath Miller from the Steelers. Pass was thrown to him, he missed it, juggled it, hit it up, into the other player's hands. He juggled it, dropped it, where did it fall? Heath Miller's hands, caught the ball. It was funny. I have to put funny plays in there because I like funny plays. Just like I like seeing a fat guy run down the field. But that didn't happen this week. Number two is Calvin Johnson. Once again, three weeks in a row, he's in my prime time. He caught the ball up between three players. Three players were crushing on him. He jumps up. He's tall dude, caught the ball, brought it down the back end zone. Great play. Number one. Some it's bound to happen, and that's when he won't be in the prime time. <laughs> Number one is and I you know I just this was like probably back bar and as you know other people have it back bar. I have it as number one because I like kickoff returns and especially kickoff returns where the person 
makes it look like the other team wasn't even rushing down the field. He, Mick Knight went 170, 107, you're 107. <laughs> he went 107, <laughs> he went 107 yards down the field against the Ravens from the Jets. He, <laughs> he's on the Jets, what I mean. I, it was great because he just basically went straight down the field through everybody. It didn't even look like there's another team on the field. That was awesome. Got a couple things I'd like to mention. Jets on, or Jaguars only scored 39 points this whole season. Worst team in the league? Possibly. Detroit Lions are 4-0 for the first time since 1980. That's a long time, ladies and gentlemen. Devin Hester, congratulations. 11 My punt favorite. returns. <laughs> My favorite. 11 punt returns, Devin Hester. That's an NFL record. Michael Vick had the best game in his career. 416 yards. yards. Great job, Michael Vick. Aaron Rodgers. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, the best game of his career. Best yeah. game? Those yeah. are the best stats of In his a career. losing effort? Yeah. Yep. Best exactly. stats of his career. the best game of his year. He had two interceptions. It's not, they're not talking about oh. game. They're talking about statistics. The be Statistically, it was the best game. The most game. yards he's ever had in his career. Fine. I don't know statistically, it was his best game, game of his career. career. Whatever. When it's your two prime two time, you could talk about it. Two interceptions. Number. The last thing I need to mention. Actually, second to last thing I need to mention. Aaron Rodgers. Did a first in the NFL. He had four touchdown passes. It's not a first in the NFL. It's not a first. Yes, it is a first. It's not a first. It's not a first. Go ahead. Yes, it is a first. Watch. A first. You should watch the TV a little more. Two rushing touchdowns, 408 yards. Aaron Rodgers, like he said, most consistent quarterback, the best quarterback in the NFL. Or, 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 like Deion Sanders, like, it's like that. It's like that. I can't call it like that. All right, but when we come back, week number five. Predictions right here on Sports Talk.